Okay, in this video, I've finished my orange spectrum. I've placed in both my warm and my cool red, and I've placed in both my warm and my cool yellow. Now I'm going to start working with the blues to make the different warm and cool versions of my greens and my violets, okay? I'm gonna start with my uh, cool yellow. So the cool yellow here is going to make the greenish spectrum that we would like to see. I'm gonna take a little bit of my cool blue and put it in this bottom triangle here. This is like a thalassine or a thalo blue, it will most likely be called. And this one has a tint to the green or tilts to the green side of the spectrum. All right, and this one is a very powerful blue. And so you have to be very careful with it as it will kind of overpower everything else. Now, as I start mixing, I wanna hit, hit for this middle green here. I'm gonna take a large clump of the yellow and take just a teeny bit of the blue and mix it in. And you'll see how quickly that changes. Okay, now this is a pretty lime greenish color. So I'm gonna just paint it on this side to see like what it will look like on the paper. I think that I can actually get a little bit more to the bluish green, like a darker green. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more blue in there. That's kind of the middle green that I'm thinking I would like. Okay, and I'm gonna paint this one into my secondary triangle. Notice how I'm pulling my brush nicely to fill that space in. Okay, now if I add a little bit more, um, let's go back actually, let's use the yellow and put some more yellow in. And this is gonna bring us to a yellow green, our tertiary color or intermediate color of um, our green will be here, this is a yellow green, so it's leaning more to the yellow side, so it has more yellow in it. And then I'll put a little bit more blue back in, and this is about the green color we had before. So I'm gonna put this in our secondary spot that this triangle is pointing towards. And now I'm gonna put in even more blue to get to a very bluish green, a darker blue green. Okay, this might be called turquoise, but it's kind of a, a darker, it's not really turquoise, it's too dark to be turquoise. Um, turquoise would be a tint, I guess. But here is our turquoise color. Okay, so there's our dark blue green. Now I'm gonna wash my brush. I'm actually gonna wash it in this old dirty cup first to get most of the paint off. And then I'm gonna wash it in my clean cup here. And you can see how it gets really stained, or the water gets really stained quickly because that blue is so powerful. Dry your brush off, make sure it's nice and neat and there's no leftover paint there. Now I'm gonna move on to my warm violet spectrum over here. I'm gonna take uh, the, the warm blue and mix it in with the warm, sorry, the cool blue, warm blue and mix it with the cool red, excuse me. So here we go. Um, I'm gonna take my, um, my warm blue first. And it's called warm blue because it tilts towards the red spectrum. So it's kind of confusing in the sense of how you have to label the colors because they don't seem to make sense. I always think of blue as a cool color, but a warm version of blue is um, tilting towards the red side, and a cool version of blue is tilting towards the green side. So here's my warm blue. Even though blue is technically a cool color, here's my warm blue, because it's tilting towards the red side. And you should be able to see this uh, in, in real life on your paper. It might be hard to see in the video. Okay, I'm gonna take my red. Red's my weaker color. I'm gonna get a little blob of that uh, warm red here. Sorry, cool red. And mix it in with my cool, sorry, warm blue. 
And that's kind of still too much to the red side. Gonna put a little bit more blue in to get a violet color. And let's paint that on my paper and see what we get. Now I'm actually gonna twist this around so I don't have to be mixing backwards. That's pretty reasonable color. Actually it should be it's probably about here. If I paint it a little bit thinner you might see the white through the paper. There you go. There's my little violet color. Okay, it's the, I'd say this is our uh, medium secondary color violet that would go right here in the middle. So I'm gonna paint it in the secondary slot there and paint it in the secondary triangle here. You might have to mix more as you go. Okay, now I'm gonna add a little bit more red since red is the weaker color, I'm gonna go there first. Ugh, I just contaminated it, took the wrong red. Darn it. Um, all right, so we're gonna swipe this all clean here and remix it because I contaminated it. I used the warm red in there. Don't want the warm red, I want the cool red. Darn it. So here's my cool red starting over, making a new pile. God, it's hard to keep the colors straight even if you've got some experience. All right, there we go. Now this is more to the red spectrum, but it's still got some of that blue in, so it's like a red violet. Paint that in this spot. Okay, and now I'm going to go to the other side, put some more of my blue in to make a very deep violet color. Okay, and I think that's about where that middle color is. Let's check, ooh, that's still very red comparatively. So you have to um, continually compare the colors and see how those colors are mixing. And you have to be careful to mix them um, a little bit at a time, otherwise it gets too out of control very quickly. Okay, there's a darker purple. So there's my dark violet color. So this is a very blue violet. All right, now we're at that last blue square. I'm gonna take my brush, I'm going to clean it in this dirty water first. You'll see how quickly that changes colors. Dry my brush off and dump out my dirty water. Get some more clean water just to make sure my brush is clean. Good. Now I'm going to take this last one. I'm going to take a little bit of my cool blue and mix it together with my warm blue to make kind of a in-between blue. is kind of leaning more to the cool side as you can see on the paper. And now I'm going to take my cool blue and paint it on the cool side. Wipe my brush off. Take my warm blue. Paint it on the warm side. Wipe my brush off and blend those two into the center. So we've got cool on one side and warm on the other side. All right, when you're done, make sure you wash your brush out really well and clean up all your supplies. That concludes how to mix the color wheel with the warm and cool versions of the primaries.